turns out that all these bigger brands, well, they don't want to sell to you unless you have an actual business. And I kind of pushed us to us open up our um, barber supply store. This is the beginning of an empire, like I told you guys. Okay guys, so we were going back through the videos and we were we we didn't include a few things, so I'm about to address that right now. One of the reasons we didn't say what you call it, um, we didn't include that we were um, decided to go this route instead of the mobile route, which we initially wanted, was a lot of brands didn't want to work with us because simply for the fact that we were mobile, we were going to go mobile, and they don't want to see their products in a car as opposed to they'd rather see it in a place like this you know nicely put up nicely displayed so that's one of the main reasons we decided to not go with mobile and actually go with the store and it's been really nice you know like it's been things happen always happen for a reason we came up with this idea a couple months before obviously like um you think about stuff you don't really you talk about it one time and you're not really, you know, sure of it. You just talk about it. But we've been talking about it for months now. We were like, oh, we're, I drive to all the supply stores, as you guys seen in the previous videos, all the way over there in San Diego, 40 minutes just to drive to a supply store. Go to LA, that's an hour and a half just to go to a supply store. So I was, we were like, how come nobody has made a barber supply here in North San Diego County? And that's when we came in. We were like, you know what? I'm tired of driving to places. It's cool, you know? I love going to supply stores, don't get me wrong. Nothing about that. It's just that people like us here in Escondido, North San Diego County, we literally have to drive 40 minutes to go to a supply store. And I feel we felt like that shit shouldn't be that way, you know? So we, I just, we decided, you know, let's put something here. There's nothing. The closest thing from here is 40 minutes, so... We want to, whatever we want, you know, as barbers, usually when I went to supply stores, not, most of them aren't barbers, and it's not like it's a bad thing or not, but I feel like I'd feel more confident buying from barbers, you know, like they actually know what you're talking about sometimes, most of the time, because there would be sometimes I would go to a barber supply store, and they wouldn't know, really know what, what it, the item was, so I'd be like, uh, don't feel confident in buying the item, but it's nice, you know, and whatever I wanted in other supply stores, I'm bringing it here to my supply store, for everyone else to enjoy, you know, because I could just imagine how many other barbers are like me and want to get all this cool stuff, you know? So we're making our supply store. We're not just bringing another supply store to California, San, San Diego. We're not, we're making one different. Because why, why just add another supply store? We're trying to be, what you call it, um, we're trying to be different. We're trying to bring something different to the table and the barber community. A lot of the things you get, we didn't include that. You'll probably see a few clips in here. Is that for like a week straight, like I'm talking a week straight, um, we were driving to LA pretty much every day, huh? We were driving to LA pretty much every other day. We dropped off our son at grandma's house in Mexico. 
and pretty much we didn't have any contact with them for a whole week and that's pretty tough it really is even a few days is tough you know but a whole week we were over here handling business i was working at the shop um britney was over there doing er uh, running errands for the store um off we were i got off work at the shop from the shop we would come here and then we would still put mad in mad hours and we wouldn't we didn't want um our son to be what you call it part of that because we were literally starting um starting the day like around 8 a.m 7 a.m and we wouldn't be back home to like what 12 around 12 or 1 in the morning so adrian most of the time we decided to drop him off because he would literally be just laying down on the sofa you know from exhaustion and stuff so that wasn't a good thing for him so we decided to do that and sacrifice some of that time being with them so we can dedicate ourselves more to this and finish it faster without feeling so bad, you know, because he's going to be taken care of by grandma. Now, pretty much right now, Supreme Barber Supply, it's obviously beauty, cosmetic and personal care. It's coming real soon to a hood near you. <laughs> like I told you guys before, the closest barber supply is about 45 minutes away around there. And um, I want something different because all the barber supplies are somewhat pretty much the same around here. So I want to bring that sauce. I, I want to bring that fire. I want to bring that difference, you know? You kind of want to bring that Instagram vibes to an actual yeah, shop. Yeah, to an actual shop. Like that LA scene. And San, uh, LA scene, yeah, exactly. That LA scene type. I think it's gonna be dope. So here we are, guys. I'm about to um, start following a bunch of people. Obviously, I'm gonna follow myself first. <laughs> and then I'll start with the shop and stuff. And then I'm gonna just keep going. Uh -huh. But yeah, guys, this is how it looks like right now. This is, this is the beginning of an empire, like I told you guys. And this is this is it right here. So let's see what happens. Okay, guys, so the camera died, guys. And I'm gonna show you guys the rest. Hey, what do we do with that fridge? Does it work? And let's go, let's, go, let's go sell it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can keep the fridge here too. Huh? Yeah. But yeah, like I said, guys, there's an extra room here. Like, it's pretty sick. Employees only. But nobody's going to make it past this side unless it's bathroom-wise, honestly. And it's cool. There's plenty of room here for what? Uh, it's for like a, a little Yeah, yeah for a kitchen. <laughs> there's going to be a restaurant in here too. Yeah. And then there's a little spot right here where I can see everyone. Like, what's up? What do you need? Uh, what do you want? <laughs> And yeah, man, it's pretty sick. This is gonna be like almost like an inventory room or whatever where we could just chill in here, do whatever we want while still make, keeping your eye out here. Exactly. Here, I'm not sure what we can do, but there's plenty of space as well. For back stock. The bathroom is right here. And outside, well, they gotta fix this anyways because I don't think you could open this. See? Now that it's. Mine, a now, spider right there. Oh damn, hell no. Wait. Oh, it's dead. So yeah, this is the spot back here. We're not really gonna put anything back out here because honestly, uh it's not that great of a neighborhood, first of all. <laughs> and keep anybody could jump and uh break in here easily. Oh uh, look, happy birthday more? Hennessy's! What are the odds of that? Oh wow, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. Happy birthday! Hey! <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, That's there so we weird. go. And it's Caesar's, um, Caesar's little sister and her birthday was yesterday. Yeah, that's crazy, <laughs> huh? What a fucking coincidence. Yeah. Oh. I almost reached it. <laughs> ready, man. How about you on the back? Can I reach it, though? Yeah, right? Oh, hold up. Hey, 20 don't, bucks. Hey, don't watch my crack. <laughs> what? Oh, what is it? The top part? I can get it. I can get it. All <laughs> right, well, we will get one. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Ah! <laughs> told you, get the other one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. More music. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's our hey, for when we leave. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, for when we leave. Uh, that's cool. We're good there. Now, for what? Now no, we gotta go do. Go transform or go buy paint. And then. Oh, we'll today's Geo's day off, so. And then it's a little thing right there. Oh, God. Heck yeah. Okay, we're gonna close this bad boy out for the first time. Here, Caesar, you can do the honors. There you go. Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, you gotta push it in, I think. Yeah, we just unlock it. There you go. 
Oh, no. Push it in more? There you go. There you go. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, there you go. Hey, what's up, guys? We welcome back. This is another video to the blog, and you guys won't believe it. We're out here with the uh, main team here, right here with the brand director Daniel. It's very humble. It's crazy because I have so much things going on in my head right now, but it's kind of hard. I never would have never pictured myself here, honestly, talking to them and working with their amazing product line. We're going to be carrying this in our um, our supply store. I'm super excited. If you guys haven't tried any of this stuff, freaking try it. You guys won't regret it. And I'm just super humbled. Like I told you guys, I think earlier in the video, I've talked to numerous companies and brands and all that stuff. And some of them don't leave you on red and... Some of them don't really give you a shot or anything. And I'm super humbled, honestly, today because main team decided to give us a chance. And honestly, this is just the beginning. Like I keep telling you guys, we're gonna move forward from here and we're gonna grow together. And you guys are definitely gonna see this product everywhere. Yeah, thank you. And also, I wanna thank Supreme Barber Supply. I wanna thank Caesar for showing up. Uh, main team guys, everyone in San Diego, feel free to stop by, show them some additional love. This is our official home in San Diego, and everyone that wants to be a part of main team, this is the official shop. So if he tells me anything about any barber that I need to know of, it'll go directly straight to me. So the mo more love you show him, the more love it'll show to us that you're going to be a part of us as well. So thank you guys so much for showing up. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, so this is what, like three weeks into us having the, the store, right? About three weeks. About three weeks. Um, we just recently brought most of our inventory um, into the store. Hmm. They're like, it's That's not a lot. <laughs> like, just it? this. Um, most of it is back there. I took pictures today of most of our inventory while Caesar was at work today. Any updates that you would like to tell them? This life is hard. It's a tough life. But it's just tough because you have to wait on a lot of people. You have to talk to a lot of people. But it's pretty awesome at the same time because it's already like about having connections. It's pretty cool because I have a lot of this stuff that I can use at the shop as well. But I don't because I need to make profits. So eventually when I start making profits, all this is going to be easy, accessible for me. But I won't be probably at the shop as often. I'll probably be here, which is handling my business. But it's cool. I'll still like to cut. So, But yeah, this is what we've done so far. It's a lot of work. Um, probably from what you guys have seen on the before videos of how it looked like before. I mean, literally all we did was paint, put some blinds up, and... Um, oh, don't mind our, our leaking roof <laughs> yeah, in my corner. Yeah, we gotta fix that. They're gonna fix that though. What we've done so far, it's, it doesn't look like much, but it's been a ton of work. And we've, we've been at the walls with some friends, or else it'd be tough. Not a handyman at all, but I put those shelves up up there. It was frustrating, but it was cool. I can do that now. We have the other one. Yeah, right there. It'll go up there. It to yeah. take pictures, but... But yeah, this is most of our inventory. I think we got the essentials, and it's we'll cool. More of the stuff back there. Yep. And they're gonna have the power tools at home. Gordo's stroller because sometimes he comes in here and he's sleeping so we're gonna put one more shelf in the middle to like even it out like a smaller one and at the very top I have some pictures that are gonna go on there and they're not horrible but I've ordered mm -hmm. from a different brand or a different Can company and they look better I mean, from, when you put from it afar, afar it's gonna look good so we're gonna put them up there. Um, these are, obviously we carry Diamond's Edge in here. And these are like brands that you, as a barber, and like each other as a, how do you call it? Like a, like a business, like business partners. Yeah, like what other we, we barber trust. supply? What other barber supply have you gone and they actually care about going to events and all this shit? Hey, not calling out any of them, but <laughs> none. I actually, I'm a, I think I'm the, uh, most of these barber supplies aren't even run by barbers, first of all, but 
that doesn't matter. Like it matters anyways, but it takes barber to be a barber to know what other barbers like. We also have right here Rod, A Rod, um, Staple, Sophie, and Taylor. He took the Western one, huh? And we have the Western one. If you guys remember, um, that's from when he got his haircut. If you guys remember that video? That's from that day. So yeah, it's just like a few little things that we want to add on here. But on this side, we're going to have um, a TV in the middle and then two shelves on each side to see what, what else we can fit in. Bad boy. Hold on, my you're going to like oh, my bad. hurt me. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. This is where we're at with our barber supply store. I think it looks dope. It's kind of like a barber lounge, barber supply lounge, and this spot. This area is um, flooded with barbershops, so I think we're going to be fine regardless. It's just I love connecting with barbers. They When they come down here and they say, oh, damn, it's a dope supply store. So it, that, that makes us feel good, you know. Obviously, we don't have a lot, like we said. And we're going to get more eventually, you know. It's like being a barber for the first time. You start off whack, and then you're going to be good eventually. So it is what it is, you know. You got to put the work in, and we don't mind putting in that work. We love what we do, and... We lo I love we love connecting with barbers when they come through, you know, and it's easy to recommend stuff. So it's amazing. This is fun. I love networking. I love connecting with other barbers. I can't wait to go to shows and all that stuff and connect with even more barbers to see what other brands are out there and stuff. Can't wait. Hopefully we make a brand ourselves eventually, you know, go big. You know, we got to make we got to put ourselves on the map out here in Escondido, California. So I feel it's going to be cool and we can do this together as a community. It's just for, it's pretty much as the barber community, you know, obviously stylist as well and all that good stuff, but mainly focusing on barbers because I'm a barber myself. Like I said, guys, don't stop, don't stop grinding. Your time is maybe not now, but it will come. So keep pushing. So I just want to thank you guys pretty much for being on this journey with me so far. And, with, and I want to uh, thank you guys as well for some of you who already purchased from the website. I know it's been taking a while. I know I haven't posted on YouTube for two months, but I'm back, baby. You know me. Nah, just kidding. Yeah, boy. Nah, just kidding. But I'm back, guys. I'm back. I missed you guys a lot. And um, I'm ready to get back into it and start more vlogs and all that stuff. If you guys got any questions at all, let me know. And for those of you who are interested in supporting me and my um, and this barber, so our barber supply store, um, Make sure to check us out at supremebarbersupply.com. So there's gonna be a link in the description box where you guys can click on it and you guys will get directed to my website. And if you guys have any many more any other questions, hit me up on Instagram. Um, a lot of this, it literally goes back to you guys. You guys buy stuff and you guys know where the money's going to, you know? And I'm literally, this is, um, it's gonna get bigger and better. So it's all for you guys, barbers, everything. So I'm so excited. I can't see where we go from here. We've been open for about a month and a half. So pretty much since I've been, almost two months, right? Since we, since I stopped posting on YouTube. So this is what I've been doing. I'm excited to be back, guys, and I can't wait. Let me know what you guys think. Um, comment section's right there and everything. And I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. I've been writing letters too, to the first few orders or something like that. But I'm still gonna do it every now and then. Just thanking people for purchasing from us and means a lot so that's it i hope to see you guys soon a lot of you guys have also been visiting the store i'm super excited to meet you guys and can't wait to see you guys here all right guys that's it for me and enjoy i hope you guys are enjoying this video and my wife worked really hard on it and we all did so we're all been part of this so thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next one